friends, welcome to part 20 of the Revelation Prophecy and Jack. This lesson deal with the final things that will take place at the sounding of the seventh trumpet. In Revelation chapter 11, we have found it to be a repetition of the Revelation Prophecy from beginning to end. John was obedient to the instruction given by Jesus in chapter 10, verse 11. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. And that John has done with his writings in chapter 11. He has prophesied again. And so it begins right at the opening of the first seal with a white horse signifying the Church of Christ and Christ as its rider, going forward to preach the gospel to the whole world, to the final thing that will take place, the sounding of the seventh trumpet revealed in the opening of the seventh seal. And so now we have come to the end. Revelation chapter 11 verse 15 And the seventh angel sounded. There were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. In the sounding of the seventh trumpet, Jesus takes over the kingdoms of this world. Satan is no longer the prince of this world or the god of this world. His time to dominate has come to an end. The Lord has taken that power and he shall reign forever and ever. This brings to a completion the revelation prophecy in the sounding of the seventh trumpet as was told to John in Revelation chapter 10 verse 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished as he has declared his servants to his servants, the prophets. So the revelation prophecy comes to an end at the sounding of the seventh trumpet. Revelation chapter 11 verse 16 And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worship God. We've met the 24 elders before the group of priests. In Revelation chapter 4 verse 1, John was invited by Jesus to come up hither and he would show him the things which must be hereafter. Immediately John was in the spirit and he saw the setting up of a throne in heaven. Then he saw God on the throne and then he saw the 24 elders. Revelation chapter 4 verse 4 And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the four and twenty seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And these twenty-four elders we saw the group of priests, priests of the new covenant, the royal priesthood, a group that will be redeemed even before the revelation prophecy begins to be fulfilled. John saw another group, four living creatures signifying the prophets. And then in the taking of the book, when Jesus took the book from the right hand of God, the seven sealed book, the revelation prophecy, it was the 24 elders with the four living creatures that praised him for taking the book. Revelation chapter 5, verse 7. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Verse 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. Verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, 
that redeemed us to God by like blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. The 24 elders come from all over the world, redeemed by the blood to become this particular group known as the priest. Priest of the New Covenant, then in verse 10, and have made us unto our God, kings and priests, we shall reign on the earth. The 24 elders will reign upon the earth during the fulfillment of the Revelation prophecy. They are seen here at the very beginning and they are now seen again at the sounding of the seventh trumpet to worship the Lord. This reminds us again that the Revelation prophecy is only a short time. The longest time in the Revelation prophecy is three and a half years or 42 months or 1,260 days. During this time, we have the Revelation prophecy being fulfilled of things which must shortly come to pass. Revelation chapter 11 again, verse 17, this is what the 24 has said, saying, We give thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art, was, and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And that's what Jesus will do at the sounding of the seventh trumpet. This was revealed previously in Revelation chapter 10, verse 1. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. We recognize this glorious being to be none other than the Lord Jesus Christ, revealed in the very first vision shown to John in chapter 1. Verse 2, and he had in his hand a little book open, that is the Revelation prophecy, all unsealed, open, and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot upon the earth, the revelation of total domination when the Lord will take over the kingdoms of this world and will take back to himself his great power and will reign forever. Revelation chapter 11 verse 18 And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give us reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name small and great, and should destroy them which destroy the earth. All this that we have read will take place in a moment at the sounding of the seventh trumpet. Let's look at it again, part by part. The nations were angry. So at the time of the sounding of the seventh trumpet, the nations will be angry, they will be in turmoil, and they will be at war. The time of the dead that they should be judged. The dead will be judged at the second coming in just a moment. God who knows everything about everything at any point of time will judge those who have died in Christ worthy of eternal life. Turn with me to the, to the words of the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians. Chapter 15, verse 51, Paul wrote, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. When he talks about sleep, he's talking about death. We shall not all die. There will be those who will live at the time of the second coming. But one thing is clear. All those who believed in Christ and have been washed from their sins in His blood will be changed. Verse 52, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, 
and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. 53. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. The time of the dead that they should be judged takes place at the sound of the seventh trumpet at the second coming of Jesus Christ. Those who are worthy will be resurrected. And then Thou should give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great. The Lord will give reward at his second coming. Revelation chapter 22. Verse 12. The words of Jesus. Behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Jesus will give reward to his servants, the prophets, those who fear him, great and small, at the second coming of Jesus, which takes place at the sounding of the seventh trumpet. And then he should destroy them, which destroy the earth. At the second coming of Jesus, he will destroy them which destroy the earth. Turn with me to Revelation chapter 19. Verse 19, the final confrontation. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. He that sat on the horse is none other than Jesus. Revelation chapter 19 verse 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. The rider, faithful and true, who goes forth in righteousness is none other than than the Lord Jesus Christ. And so these armies of empires are there to make war against him. But they just can't win. Verse 20, Revelation chapter 19. And the beast was taken. That's the seven-headed, ten-horned beast in Revelation 13, which we will learn later. And within the false prophet, that's the second beast with two horns that was like a lamb, but he spoke like a dragon, Revelation 13 also, that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone, destroyed by fire. Fire that fell on Sodom and Gomorrah will fall upon them. Then in verse 21, and the remnant was slain, the remnant, those who survived, the remaining wicked, was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. The Lord will destroy them with his word at his second coming. And so all these things take place in the sounding of the seventh trumpet at the second coming. Revelation chapter 11 verse 19, the final verse of this chapter, and the temple of God was open in heaven. In the old covenant, the temple was physical. Uh, it could be seen, it could be touched, it could be carried. In the new covenant, God is spirit. His temple is spiritual. His temple is his people, his church, the body of Christ. In the Revelation prophecy, 144,000 in particular. So the temple of God was opened in heaven. There is a revelation now. What are we going to see? And there was seen in his temple the ark of his testimony. Testament also means covenant. In the old covenant, the ark of the covenant held 
the tables on which the words of the covenant were written, the Ten Commandments in the New Covenant. The New Covenant is Jesus Christ and the ark that holds Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. And the Church of God will be revealed to contain, to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God in whom Jesus dwells in us. Jesus, the new covenant. Turn with me to Isaiah chapter 42, verse 6. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, will hold thine hand, will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles. In the old covenant, the Ten Commandments were written on tables of stone. In the new covenant, it is a being, it is a person, it is Jesus whom God gave as a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus, the new covenant, the seven, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Again in Isaiah 49, verse 8, a prophecy of Jesus being the covenant. Thus said the Lord, In an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee. I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritages. Verse 9, That thou may say to the prisoners, Go forth, to them that are in darkness, show yourselves, they shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be in all high places. Verse 10, they shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them, for he that hath mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water shall he guide them. Jesus the covenant, the new covenant, believe in him and enter into the new covenant and experience him as a good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. Revelation chapter 11 verse 19 And the temple of God was open in heaven, God's church. They were seen in his temple, the ark of his destiny, the Holy Spirit, the seal of God. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail another two things that will take place in the sounding of the seventh trumpet at the second coming a great earthquake this was revealed earlier on in revelation chapter 6 with the final signs that will take place in the heavens revelation 6 verse 12 and i beheld when it opened the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake the sun became black as sackcloth of hair the moon became as blood. And the great hail, well that happens to be the final plague, the seventh plague, the worst of all the plagues, Revelation chapter 16, verse 21, and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent, and men blaspheme God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Mm -hmm.